Hi, welcome to the fifth part of the Spur Gear housing in Siemens NX. I want to do all the blends or fillets. So the two ways I could unite all solids and then do the blends, or in order to save at least a little bit of time, I could do the blends at the solids. So I want to show you the second way. It might be not the better way, but I want to do it in a different way. So first I have to delete that blend because otherwise it would not work. And you might have noticed I made uh, another small error on the side in the video which I've shown the extrudes. I've selected the wrong plane. I've selected this one and you have to select that one. I've already corrected that. Okay, so I need that solid and not this one, not that one, but so let's hide it, hide it, hide it, hide it. Oh, that's the one. Hide the other ones, at least for the moment. And this one. Great. Now I want to unite those two. So that would be the target. This would be the tool. And confirm. Now let's do a first blend. 5 millimeter on this edge here, that one, and on the other side as well. Apply. Then go for 10 millimeters on this edge. No, not on this one, but on that one here. On this one. On this one. And that one. Tell me if they, yes, apply. Then go another five millimeters, select this edge. It <laughs> should go all around. Obviously not, so let's deselect it at least for the moment. And yes. Deselect it. Okay. Select it here. Because this goes all around. Same on the other side like that. And okay. Now I've noticed there's something wrong here. I made a lot of small errors. So that's too deep. So I need a little bit of space here. And I want to change that. So that would be the solid which is right now here and that would be one of the extrudes not this one not that one subtract so let's open this one and that should be that's an extrude Open it up and it's hard to see here. So let's switch to the timestamp order. Go here. And that would be an extrude. Not this one, but that one here. This one. That's the one. And that's 7mm and I need it to be 6mm. So let's change that value to 6 millimeter, which gives me some space between that blend and that edge here, which I want. Now I can do those fillets on this side and that side. So go for a blend, make it 1.5, and select edge like this and let's move over here to this one same on the other side like that and confirm 
great. I can't do those here because I will get problems here. Therefore I need to unite another body. But let's go to our solids and hide this one and bring in those cooling ribs. And I can make the fillets on those edges here. Next. Okay, and so these are one millimeter planes. So let's go for one millimeter on this edge and that edge. Apply this one and that one. 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 And OK. Nice. Let's bring in that solid here. Yes. Now, which one next? Oh yeah, this one. So let's go for edge plans, 20 millimeter. On this edge here, that, this one. This one, that one, and this one here. OK, or apply. And this one here should be, I think, 3 millimeter. So let's go for 3 millimeter all around. Yep, and here 3 millimeter. And OK. Great. Now, let's bring in, uh, not this one, but I think those two. And I need here a fillet, so I want to unite them. So let's go for unite. This one with that one. OK. And then I can do a 10 millimeter fillet or edge blend on this edge. Yes, and on that one. And OK. Let's bring in this one. And I can do. I think that's all 5 millimeter on this edge, that one, this one, and that one. And should I do the other one as well? I'm not quite sure. Yes, that's OK. And should I do that edge beforehand? And I think it's 1 or 1.5 millimeter. Is this a good idea? Yeah, maybe. I could save a little bit more time again. Yeah, let's take a look. So let's go for an edge blend. I think it's 1.5 on this edge all around. And that edge over here also all around. And OK. Maybe hide those here. I will need 1.5 if I unite those two. So let's go for this one and that one. Unite them. OK. And let's do edge blends with 1.5, I suppose, right here on this edge. Yep. On that 
that one. Yeah, nice. This one, very nice. That one. Great. And this one here. And that one. And confirm. Yeah, great. And now I should be able to unite those bodies like that. Confirm. And do another edge plan with 5 mm along this edge. Yes. And that edge. Yes, looks really good. So let's confirm this. And do another one here again with 5 mm on this edge. So there's. So why. This should be one body right now. No, not yet. I have to unite to that one, this one. Okay, and then I can do another edge blend with 5 mm, yes, on this edge. And on the other side as well. Yes, and confirm. This looks really nice. Let's bring in those. And that one. And I can do those blends beforehand, or I could unite it and then do those. Doesn't really matter, makes no great difference. So let's unite this one with that one, that's the last solid. And OK. Yes. Now let's go f and unite. Maybe go back to that unite command and add the rips as well. And go to select body, select those as well. Like that and confirm. Yeah. Okay, now let's go for another blend. 5 mm over here on this edge, this one, that one, and this one. Apply. Now for 0 0.7 on this edge here, this one. That one, this one, same on the other side, this one, that one, this one, and that one, and apply, then add this edge and that edge, same on the other side, this one and that one, apply and then here at the top, OK, apply, then I need a 3 mm fillet here all around, uh, that's OK, so maybe I have to do those, no I don't have to do those first because that's OK, nice, and now all the cooling ribs, so go for edge blend and this should be one millimeter because yeah one millimeter here 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 there and over there yes apply then same here, this one, that one, this one, that one, this one, that one, apply, 
now to the other side here there here and there and here and there apply and at the bottom here also and I hope I didn't forget some no looks really good and all the fillets or plants are done but I've noticed there is a chamfer and I would have forgotten the chamfer so let's go to the chamfer and I think it's a one millimeter one it should be symmetric and it's along that edge here and on the other one as well not no that's the wrong one that's the one yes and confirm and now I'm really done for today so I hope this was helpful hope you liked it if you did like it please give it a like or leave a comment if you want to see more please give it a like or leave a comment please subscribe to my youtube channel that would really help you could follow me also on linkedin grabcat facebook twitter or x instagram and many more thanks for watching see you to the next one bye bye